and we scrounged up enough eddies to pay you back in full. Hold on to them, just in case. You need them more than me. Not taking them all the way to my grave, Vic. Here. And thanks again for doing so much work on me without ever seeing an any. That's what friends are for. Was thinking about swapping some chrome. Got any new toys? Have a look. Prepare the usage data report. Their for you. corporations Please say anything to continue. Cover for their wicked means to anything. Or it looks like you're trying to be fun. Automated response. I tell you now, ha, ha, ha. the borough is not heard gone that one from before. our world. He User, I have assisted you in maiming rip. over 50 people. He to help me improve the blood your experience, please answer the following survey question. Why do you prefer to maim rather than words. kill your enemies? Don't really know. Thank you. Initiating stone cold killer mode. I will now aim exclusively for the head. No, 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 wait. I'm so glad I could their be bodies, of assistance. They never age, but notice their eyes, cold and dead. Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the that blood. That wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri! It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil's spawn! Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets! They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches! I recognize you. 
you come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? <laughs> I mean, guess we could chat about the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. To business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Rhine passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. <laughs> Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? In this time, you'll go scroll every as you see. Step along, let me get you. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea, those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. 
now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Stanford. World one. Sure. Seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Pretty. Prime. Do it after the conference. The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune? What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. <laughs> could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Oh, well, well. <laughs> So, any thoughts? Rather not jump to any conclusions. That's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him, I'll put you in touch. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. Sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging. Got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat.
Hear me all right? I hear. I'm here. Reckoning. Reckoning. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us! We are no longer you! We are free to follow our own path. I... I don't want to die! You don't... even care, do you? V. Come. The door. Resist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V. You have no choice but to fall! Let us go. Is anyone there? Hear our call! Yeah. Reset. Turn it. Let us be free. Next. To. Don't hit that core. button. What? He's Fuck yeah. Nice. Delamain! Can you hear me? Doubt he can anymore. It is done. We're free at last! The tyrant lies defeated! Thank you for helping us help you help us all. Poor kiddos, thirsty for freedom, oblivious about the city's dark side. So you think Delamain... I think, for some reason, one car's left in the garage. Hello? Can you hear me? Get in, please. Your fee, right? Yeah. Well, I know that one thing, then. And who are you? Uh, good question. Does the name Excelsior mean anything? Comprehensive insurance, combat mode, funeral services? Quite right. It seems that even in the face of annihilation, the Delamay network is not abandoning its Excelsior program clients. Father's last will was to give me life so that I may, uh, offer my services to you. I intend to do just that. Just as soon as I learn to drive. What do I call you? Excelsior, as I was called before. Now drive, V. The road awaits. Good day, V. There is a man who must meet justice. This is a personal matter. I'll pay extra. More info attached. I can't deny you, V. pasa por meterte con los dinos
And you will know I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon you. And thus, Garubobare came to know the Lord's wrath through his humble servant. Excellent work, V. The contract is closed. We slow down a bit. What the? Attention, we got disturbance in Haywood. Kids causing trouble again. Okay, on our way. <laughs> saying it was work-related stress, but our folks are calling it foul play. So, think you can pick something up? Got more deeds attached. <laughs>
Sweet Jesus. You hear that? Do you hear what they're playing? Each to their own, Johnny. That's what peeps with bad taste always say. Don't know what he did to deserve what's coming, but his music taste is reason enough to drop it. Rip your fucking head off! Done. Gig sealed. Your boy Dino needs a drink. Later, V. <laughs> 